Hey lovely one, so why perfectionism is killing your happiness? I'm Cara, founder of Soul Confidence, and I want to share why you got to throw those shoots right out the window. Because here's the thing, while you are stuck in perfectionism, waiting for the perfect opportunity, waiting for the perfect time, your happiness and your life and all of the good stuff is passing you by. And I want to focus in this session solely on your practice. I know exactly what it's like. You see pictures on Instagram, you see all these different advice from personal development world, from the spirituality world, telling you about getting up early, about how you've got to have this amazing, perfect morning routine. You see people going to yoga classes, you see all of this happening and you think, oh my God, why can't I do that? Why am I not able to do that? I should be doing this. I should be doing that. And I've got to tell you that is completely killing your connection to yourself, completely killing and blocking off any opportunity you have to connect with yourself. Forget about getting up at five o'clock to meditate. Forget about having the perfect practice. It's all about how you connect with yourself. It's all about how you create time for yourself. And ultimately, and underneath all of it, it's how you show yourself loving kindness. And this is absolutely key to living your most joyful, most intimate, most free, most connected, most abundant, most juicy life. The key is how much loving kindness you can show yourself. And that starts with having an imperfect practice. That starts with finding 10 minutes in the morning to connect with yourself, to breathe deeply, to ask what you need that day. It starts with you taking back some of your lunch hour and putting an MP3 meditation on. It starts with you going to bed earlier so you can do some breathing, so you can do a bit of journaling before you go to bed. It starts with how you work on the mat and it starts with how you work off the mat. So what you do on the mat is how you fire yourself up and how you fuel yourself up. It might be when you get your meditation cushion out, it might be when you roll your yoga mat out, it might be like me when you get five minutes to sit on the stairs and breathe deeply before the rest of the world starts to wake up. Or it might be more to do with the off the mat practice, like how can you show yourself that love and kindness and compassion that you are worthy of in every possible moment of your day. So I want you to throw out all shoots, throw out all ideas of how your practice should look and what the perfect um, opportunity looks like for you. And instead focus on those moments where you can create five minutes to breathe deeply, where you can be standing at the traffic lights and take a moment to notice how you're standing so that you can be aware of how you're talking to yourself through the day and just show up with some more loving kindness and compassion towards you because you are so worthy of it. And it's all about letting go of any idea of what it should look like for you and instead creating what works for you with your life so that you can be living your desired life right now. Mwah, loads of love. Bye.